Right, I want to share a verse or two that sort of shows you that the reason why I am a bumpy earther. Okay, I used to be a flat earther, and then I came to the realization that the earth is not flat, it's bumpy. So now I'm a bumpy earther. Okay, so I type in heaven and height, and it's interesting. I want to go over a couple of these, uh, but I'll just read them. There's only seven here. Is not God in the height of heaven? And behold the height of the stars, how high they are. For he has looked down from the height of his sanctuary. From heaven did the Lord behold the earth. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord from the heavens. Praise him in the heights. The heaven for height and the earth for depth and the heart of kings is unsearchable so think about that one for a second so nobody can measure the heaven for height nobody can measure the earth for depth and of course nobody can measure the heart of kings these are unsearchable so it for example if the earth was a ball that could be measured right well so you wanna the argument would have to be that well this is not about measuring just just about getting getting down in there you can't apparently goes to the very top of heaven and you can't dig down you can only dig down so far and then of course you can't um, you know somehow get into a heart of a king I don't agree with that but I'm not gonna make a you know a big fuss about it it's just how I look at it that's how I see it this is very plainly saying that this idea of a heliocentric model is absolutely false um, and maybe I should get into that a little more let's see there was another one I think I wanted to go through uh, though Babylon should mount up to heaven and though she should fortify the height of her strength, yet from me shall spoilers come in or come unto her, saith the Lord. Daniel 4. The tree grew and was strong, and the height thereof reached unto heaven, the sight thereof to the end of all the earth. The tree that thou sawest, which grew and was strong, whose height reached unto the heaven, and the sight thereof to all the earth and so it goes into that but rather than us going into that let's just consider the vision the idea here the picture that's being painted there's a tree and everybody on earth could see it now obviously in my opinion this cannot happen on a he uh, heliocentric earth or a ball earth whatever you want to call it um, because it's because it reached into heaven and um, not wrapped around the earth that's just how I see it if you don't agree then we don't agree with one another it's that simple and I could make it even simpler if you have one opinion and I have another opinion all that means is I'm right and you're wrong so I'm not gonna get angry about that now I want to go back up here to what was that? Uh, yeah, Proverbs 25. For the heaven for height and the earth for depth and the heart of the kings is unsearchable. So let me just close it out with this verse here. Um, what's that word I'm looking for? Circuit. No? Yeah, I think. Uh, Psalm 19 his going forth is from the end of the heaven and his circuit unto the ends of it there is nothing hid from the heat thereof talking about the Sun it's saying that the Sun has a circuit that's completely contrary to the heliocentric model it says there's nothing no thing hid from the heat of the Sun and it says it's going from the end of heaven. 
So, <clears throat> excuse me, that suggests to me that heavens are not infinite, but rather, uh, you know, finite, I guess. They, they have an end. The ends of heaven. His going forth is from the end of heaven. This is completely contrary to what they have taught us since we were little children. Now, obviously, you know, they teach us as little children that there's a Santa Claus and an Easter bunny, a bunny that lays eggs. Well, we get older, we realize bunnies don't lay eggs. There is no Santa Claus. And then consider this that the Bible is true. How amazing would that be? Huh? Oh, I can't find a verse when I won't need it. I thought I knew the Bible. I don't know the Bible at all. 1 Corinthians 13, verse 11. When I was a child, I spake as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things.